So let's see now how we can build our application. So we'll be building our application with the help of Android Studio because now we have access to the native code. So first of all, we need to make changes in our native code first, right? So we'll be opening this Android and inside this app, we have this build grader, right? So here we need to give the package name, right? So yeah, this is the default package name, right? So we'll be changing this. Let's say I'll be changing this to cnq.weather app. Uh, oh, w, or whatever name you can write it in here, whatever name you want, you can write it in here. W E A W E A T H U I the app, like so. And it has already given the version code of one, and it's fine. And you need to increase this, increase this version code every time you submit an update to your application, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is it, right? And now what you can do is you can open this Android folder in Android Studio. So I have already done that. Uh, I have already done that, right? Okay. Now in here, uh, yeah, I have already done that. This amazing weather, right? Now in here, let's say we want to change the icon of our application first. So we'll be clicking on this app. Now I'll be do. I will do a right click on this res, and I will click on this new. And inside in new, I will click on this image asset, right? And this will open uh, some kind of this kind of tool. So in here, we can select the path of to that image, right? So I have. Uh, uh, let me close this C. I will go to this D and inside this I will search for JavaScript and I will search for uh, React Native Tutorials where it is. Yeah, this one and inside this amazing weather and inside this Yeah, this app icon. Okay, so yeah, so this will be my app icon So if you want you can resize this a little bit or maybe this is okay. This is fine so let me uh, uh, decrease the size so in here i will i will be pressing this next in here and i will again click on this finish right so my icon is now changed now how to build the generate a signed apk from that i will be clicking on this build i will click on this generate signed bundle or apk right uh, i will build apk i will click on this next so i need to give my key store Right, so I'll be clicking on this choose existing. So if you don't have, you can create a new key store, right, using Android Studio. So I'll be choosing from my existing. Here I have, I have my key store, okay, and key store password. I don't know. Let's try. I will click on this remember password next. I will generate a release version. I will click on this and I will finish. Now this will generate a APK for me, right? And I will wait for a few seconds. If you are running this for the very first time, it will take a little bit longer. And I think this process is get completed. Now here it is showing me it's generated signed APK. I will click on this and I will click on this locate to locate that first. Right, so this is uh, the APK and it is of 22 MB and it's fine, right? We built it the APK with Expo and it, it was of 56 MB, right? It was too huge, but it is fine. 22 MB is just okay, right? So it's a normal size, right? Uh, in most of the cases, this APK size will be around 22 MB if, if you are building that with React Native. But if you want uh, APK size should be lesser than that, then instead of building this uh apk you can build uh this uh here we have this option right generate bundle you can build instead bundle right yeah uh build bundle oh not bundle oh so right yeah if you will build this bundle so what this google play store will do is it will it will install the apps on the user system according to their hardware configurations right so the app size will be small right in that case so it will automatically google play will automatically optimize your app and will install a smaller size application on that user according to the hardware configuration right if you want a smaller size or uh, you, you can do one more thing is that you can uh, open your code file in here and here you can make this to true right so this will generate two apks i guess right uh, one AP, apk for different hardware kind of devices and one apk for different hardware right right so accordingly what hardware user use on their 
Android phones accordingly that APK will install so uh, APK size will be lot smaller if you will make this true right so yeah you can do that as well okay so these are the two things if you want to make more or you want to reduce more more size right you want to reduce uh, you want to make your APK size lesser than uh, let's say uh, this 22 MB right so you can do that as well I think this has generated the bundle okay so it has generated bundle okay it's fine for let's try to install this application on our device so I will pull this up and I will install this and, and let's have a look I think it's installed now so here you can see icon is being changed in here right and I can click on it and this application works right so this is amazing right okay so this is how you can build your application now you can uh, push this application to your app store this is an amazing weather application right so yeah you can do that so i'll see you guys in the next video